All right, everybody, welcome back. And in this step, we're going to go through the eight-point lead magnet checklist. Remember that in the middle of the funnel, our major concern is being able to use content to drive leads and subscribers into lists, right? So that we have their contact information, we can follow up with them. Now, a secondary concern is to use that lead magnet to make an initial offer right away to convert that person into a customer. But our primary goal at the middle of the funnel is the acquisition of leads and subscribers, all right? So in order to do that, we need a great lead magnet, okay? And as a content marketer, you need to be focusing your attention when you're considering the middle of funnel activity on the quality of your lead magnet. So let's take this eight, eight point lead magnet checklist and let's go through it. Now, you may or may not be able to check mark every single one of these uh, factors off of this checklist, but the more that you can check off, the higher performing your lead magnet is gonna be. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through an actual lead magnet we use over at digitalmarketer.com. It's a resource that I actually put together. Um, and let's see how many of these uh, we can actually check off as we go through the lead magnet checklist. And you should be doing the same thing with the offers that you create. So the first thing uh, that you want to make sure that you do, and this is, you know, a lot of the other parts of this checklist boil down to this one big thing, which is that your lead magnet needs to be ultra specific. Most of the time, this and this will be good news for a lot of you, uh, your lead magnet is lower performing because, or, you know, most of the time your lead magnet will over deliver. In fact, like it, it, it promises too many things. And that's why earlier on, um, in, in an earlier video, I, I mentioned that an ebook is not a great a uh, lead magnet because it's not specific enough. All right, so you you want to find something that's very very specific and specific to us to to your uh, some segment of your market. So you need to go back and look at your avatar that you created in the beginning of uh, of your content uh, marketing campaign and in the beginning of this certification and look and see like what would this avatar absolutely want specifically. So let's take a look at this lead magnet resource that we offer called the five minute SEO audit. Okay. Now uh, let's just take a quick look and, and look at this lead magnet and then we'll go back to the checklist and make and see how many of these we can check off. Now we may not be able to check them all off, uh, but we will hopefully be able to check off as many as possible. So five minute SEO audit, two step DIY SEO audit that shows you how to identify SEO problems in five minutes or less. Uh, see how pro SEO professionals check the health of a website and quickly determine if there is a problem. Okay, uh, discover if Google is punishing your website for bad SEO pro, uh, practices uh, or, or worse, for being hacked. Um, um, learn how to see your website through Google's eyes and see and, and the problems Google wants you to fix. Okay, these are things, this is a very specific, specific prescription that we are giving. It's a five minute high impact SEO audit. All right, so it's a thing, right? It's a very specific thing. And it's actually aimed at a very specific segment of our market, and that is the person who's very interested in organic search, you know, Google traffic. So let's go back to the checklist. Is it specific? Yes, right? It's a specific uh, offer, right? I'm going to give you the ability in five minutes to do this little SEO audit and see whether you've been hacked and see whether you've got things that Google wants you to fix. So it's a very specific offer. Is it the one big thing? All right. So everybody wants a magic pill or a silver bullet. Uh, so it's better to deliver one big promise as opposed to a lot of little ones. So this goes back to what I was talking about with an ebook or a big a course, you know, if you're offering a course for free, um, as, as a, um, 
as a lead magnet. It's probably not working as well as if you just take one little piece, the coolest piece, the most specific thing that gets the best results out of that book or out of that little course and pull it out and make it this very specific one big thing. All right. And is, does the five minute SEO audit do that? Right. Absolutely. You know, there, there is a lot of things you could be doing to your website for SEO, but this is a very high impact, you know, silver bullet type thing. Does it speak to a known desired end result? And that's why you got to get into that avatar and you got to get into their head. What do they want? You know, what does your market really want? And if you can figure that out and you can get, get a lead magnet together that delivers that, you will see high conversion rates on, on your, on your lead magnets. So, you know, this five minute SEO audit is a silver bullet look, you know, it, it has a silver bullet look to it, right? It's like, Oh, in five minutes or less, I'm going to be able to see how professionals check the health of a website and quickly determine problems and discover, you know, these things that I want to know, like, is my, is my website being punished or, you know, so forth. Does it offer immediate gratification? And there's two parts to that. Okay. Um, so when you, when you look at a resource, if, if for example, this resource was going to get mailed to them by snail mail, it would get less conversions usually. All right. Less people would opt in if I wasn't going to get it until say next week or even tomorrow, because we want immediate gratification. All right. But the other side to this is, you know, is there, it does it show speed to results, right? And, and that's why we picked this part, um, this, this as this lead magnet for this, for this particular avatar, because it is, can it's something you can do in five minutes that has tremendous impact on your SEO. All right. Well, we're actually going to cover the little five minute SEO audit in this certification. So you, if you're wondering what it is, uh, you, we're actually going to go over that later. Um, but you know, the two step DIY SEO audit, uh, that, that identifies your SEO problems in five minutes or less. So does it give you, does it give you the resource immediately? And can I get results immediately? are two very important things, very, very important to your offer uh, on the lead magnet in the middle of the funnel here that your offer is able to deliver results fast. Does it shift the relationship? So um, when someone downloads it, does it actually move them closer and pre-frame them to do future business? Because remember, we're not done with this relationship with this prospect. All right. Uh, we are going to make them an offer right after they download this. Remember, we talked about immediate customer acquisition, but we're also going to make them other offers down the line. And we want to we want to set ourselves up as the expert. We want to move them further down. We want to give them a little victory, right? Like, hey, you got some results by doing this five-minute SEO thing, and now you're more likely to do business with us in the future. So your, your offer has to deliver on what it says. It has to be good. And that's why we spend so much time as content marketers thinking about the quality of the offer that gets made in the middle of the funnel. Uh, does it have a high perceived value? You know, um, just because it's free doesn't mean it should look free. Okay, so using professional graphics. Um, yeah, I think I think we did a nice job with the design on this page uh, to make this look like it's a high quality, uh, a high quality resource. Does it have actual value? You know, again, when you deliver this thing, it has to deliver. This is the middle of the funnel. This is not, you know... You cannot run a business in the middle of the funnel with bad content. Okay, the content, again, has to be fantastic. So uh, is this a uh, is this high-quality content? Um, yeah, absolutely. It, it, it does deliver on what it says, and, um, and so it is a high-value piece. 
And then does it have rapid consumption? Okay, so um, how long does it take for them to actually consume it? And this is where the ebook the ebook fails, right? Because uh, if you go back and look at that slide when I was talking about the ebook, that ebook was 230 pages, all right? There's not rapid consumption there, okay? Um, if you're delivering a course, you know, over the course of, you know, six weeks or something like that, that is not rapid consumption. It makes a poor lead magnet, and usually you will see conversions drop when you have uh, when you have these these uh, lead magnets that take a long time to consume, you know they have to be mailed to you and all these things. So you want speed to results, speed to delivery, speed to consumption at the middle of the funnel to acquire as many leads as possible. So when you are uh, designing your lead magnet, make sure that you run it through this eight point checklist.